Many Excel users find themselves frequently entering the same formula and are seeking a method through which they could store the formula and recall it on demand in the future. While this can be done using Excel's Define Names feature, a better way to store formulas is to save them as an autocorrect rule. This process is more intuitive for most users, and formulas can be stored from within any workbook and used in any other workbook without having to modify Excel's default templates. In this tip, you will learn how to store and recall your complex formulas using autocorrect rules. Now, among other things, autocorrect is a feature in Excel that automatically corrects spelling or typing mistakes. For example, if you type A-B-B-O-U-T, based on a predefined rule, autocorrect automatically fixes that mistake by changing your entry to A-B-O-U-T. In fact, autocorrect is not limited to Excel. It is shared by other Microsoft applications, including Word, Outlook, and PowerPoint. However, for purposes of this tip, we will focus on autocorrect in the context of Excel. Now, in this example, autocorrect entries will be created for formulas to calculate the fiscal month, fiscal quarter, and fiscal year from transactional data for a company whose fiscal year runs from April 1 to March 31. In this case, this is necessary because the company would like to create a pivot table to summarize the transactional data based on its fiscal reporting periods, but dates and pivot tables are always grouped in calendar periods by default. The three autocorrect entries we will create will be the following. First, we will create an autocorrect entry entitled FRM Month. The formula associated with that autocorrect entry converts the data in the date column of a table to a text field formatted so that only the first three characters of the month display. Next, we will create another autocorrect entry entitled FRM Quarter. This formula analyzes the data in the date column of a table, and if the month number is less than four, that is, if the month is either January, February, or March, the formula assigns the date to the fourth fiscal quarter. If the month is greater than or equal to four but less than seven, the formula assigns the date to the first fiscal quarter. If the month number is greater than or equal to seven but less than 10, the formula assigns the date to the second fiscal quarter. Finally, if none of the previous conditions are satisfied, the formula assigns the date to the third fiscal quarter. The third and final autocorrect entry in this example will be entitled FRM year. This formula is used to determine what the appropriate fiscal year is for the data in the date column of a table. To create autocorrect entries for formulas, begin by clicking File, Options, and Proofing as currently displayed on the screen. Under Proofing, choose Autocorrect Options. Then, enter the name that you want to assign to your autocorrect entry. The first example will be FRM Month. And then, enter the formula that you want to be associated with the name FRM Month. Finally, click Add to complete the entry. Next, repeat the process for the formula that you want associated with the phrase FRM quarter. Again, click Add to complete that entry. Finally, let's enter the formula associated with the phrase FRM year. And again, click Add, followed by OK to complete the process. Now at this point, all three of our formulas have been entered as autocorrect entries. Let us now begin to see their application. I'll begin by adding three columns to the table, month, quarter, and year. Next, in the month column, I will enter the autocorrect entry of FRM month. And upon doing so, Excel immediately replaced the entry of FRM month with the formula that we had associated with that entry. 
Of course, because our information is stored in a table, the formulas automatically copy down the entire range of the table. Next, let's enter the phrase FRM quarter. And again, what we find is that Excel immediately replaced the entry of FRM quarter with the formula that we had associated with that entry. And finally, let's enter the phrase FRM year. And once again, we find that Excel replaced the original entry with the formula that was associated with that entry. Of course, at this point, we can now begin performing any type of analysis we need to perform on this data, potentially including building a pivot table, pivot chart, or any formula-based analyses. All Excel users want to save time, and by saving your commonly used formulas as autocorrect entries, you will be able to recall them on demand and reclaim time that would otherwise be consumed by entering the same formula or formulas repeatedly. On behalf of everyone at K2 Enterprises, thank you for watching this short video. We certainly hope that you have found it to be useful and that we can serve you soon in one of our training programs. For more information on the training options we offer, please visit our website at www.k2e.com.